You give it attack? That's nuts. That's... Oh! <laughs> no way. You gave it divine shield and a death... Dude, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd concede. But yeah, I don't think buffing the Azerite Murloc by making it transform cards into one cost more, I don't think that actually like affects the core problem of the card. We'll take Primordial Wave because they could be like an elemental with like tempo stuff and Primordial Wave could be good. Mm. You know what? I think we'll get rid of everything. I think there are better twos and three draws so you can play for tempo to fight for board. Primordial Wave was okay. Reno is nice though, I'll take that. But the core problem with the card is the fact that, like, the payoff is completely random. So, even though I'm playing a deck, right, that revolves around some stuff, right? It revolves around um, Highlander Synergy and specific cards. Thank you for the 10 gifted, Aloran. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Everybody say thank you. Um, the core problem with the card is just the fact that, like, you have no control over what it ends up giving you. So even though, like, oh, I want Astalor to be a win condition, I want Dr. Holiday and the new card, uh, Marit, to be a win condition, you can't rely on that anymore. And then it's just like, wh what are we going to end up getting in the end? If I get a one-drop spell, I think maybe I coin it out. No, cold storage is too valuable. We hold on to cold storage. There's too many things that we can get from it. It's too strong. But Aloran Pog, thank you, Aloran. Why not the frog weapon? What do you mean, why not the frog weapon? We have the frog weapon. Right here, Dr. Holiday. This is a Highlander deck, this is why we run that. Um, would I rather lose my 3-3? I think I don't care about the 3-3. I think we're gonna do this and respond to his thing with one of our own. And then if he ends up playing Holiday, I can cold storage it and play it myself. Basically. Which I think is quite strong. Worst case scenario, I can just play Prince Renathal for three mana here. One of the few times when Prince Renathal isn't the worst thing in the world. <laughs> and I'll just go face, I don't care about a 1-1. One, one. I guess they could play the Bouncer, actually. I should have killed the 1-1. One, one. If they play the Bouncer, I get kind of wrecked, but... It might not be that bad. But yeah, they play Holiday. I cold storage, coin out Holiday. And I'm just, I'm just in a good spot, I think. Although they are a 40 card deck, so maybe not. But yeah, the core problem is just the RNG of it all. Like, you can't control what's going to end up happening. How many Overload cards do I have in the deck? I have one. I have Lightning Storm, two. Three, but I drew it. What? Four. I only have four Overload cards in my deck, actually, which is a little bit weird. I didn't realize I had that few. Do I just coin out... The Titan. I'm pretty sure I do. Like, I can just thin out my deck even more. Just draw three Overload cards, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna overdraw anything and then we kill that off. This way I can at least draw the Overload cards, because I don't really- I only have four in the deck and I've already drawn one. I don't want to draw another one and lose value going forward. Yeah. I'm not really surprised by that play. It makes sense. Cold storage with Dr. Holiday is still optimal next turn, I would say, if uh, they give me the opportunity, if they play Dr. Holiday right now. Oh, okay. Oh, if Theotar is in there, that's kind of bad. If Theotar is in there, that's that's not ideal. Um, we're going to play you for two mana and just see what we get. Or, no. That for two mana, Astalor for two mana, and this for two mana. We're just flooding the board at this point. So basically, if he wants to, um... Oh, that's unfortunate. That was a really weak elemental, actually. But basically, if they want to play Theotar here to mess with my hand, uh, they will take at least a decent amount of damage on the back end. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's fine. It'll do. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. What are your thoughts on Deep Minor Bran? I like Bran. I think Bran was pretty cool. Um, I don't think that Bran is quite as strong as some people said he was going to be. Mostly just because, whoa, wait, you're gonna keep the other guy alive? I just deal three, oh, you're gonna cold storage it. Again, that sucks. 
But I mean, I think he's strong, but for six mana, I think he's very balanced. Because a six mana two four do nothing means that into certain fairly aggressive matchups, it's not really going to do anything. And since it's not really going to do anything in certain matchups, I think that because it does so well into other matchups, it's a pretty cool balance card. That's cold storage, obviously. They get another Titan. It's pretty unfortunate. Not a fan of that one, but what are you going to do, you know? I still get the, the uh, effect off of it, which is nice. I can Primordial Wave. I can go like, boom, Primordial Wave, but I do want to kill that off more than anything. So let's just kill this off. Primordial Wave we can play as well, but we do get to excavate this. This is fine. Boom, boom, and then I'll just go Primordial Wave. I don't think there's much I need to actively remove, but hopefully we can get a good card here. Holy shit. That's actually not that good. <laughs> I thought that was going to be way better. Uh, this is an Elemental B, so it's a 1 mana 2-4. I don't think I have any other Elementals in the deck. I have this one in my hand, obviously. Well, you know, it's fine. It's still cool. They could play Reno to get rid of it, maybe. They might think that it's going to be a bigger deal than it is. Congrats on Legend. Congrats. Congrats. Congrats, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you. Or good job. Good job. I don't know why I said thank you. Um, having some success with an Ezreit Murloc and Totem Shaman list. I mean, I'm not saying that it, it can't be useful. I do think that it has some points where it can be useful. Uh, I don't want to go Reno on this board. I really don't want to Reno this. It's, it's just so weak. I don't think it's worth it. It's just not worth it. We'll do that. We still have Reno in our hand, too. And we know that they played Cold Storage as their ETC thing. So they probably don't have Theotard to mess with me. Astelor will be in the game changer for a mirror matchup. There's Reno. He played the Reno. I'm pretty okay with that, actually. We don't attack or anything. We're just gonna go boom. Plus, probably the rock. Just to empty out space in my hand here. We're not going to attack with the weapon because we do want to keep an extra totem, possibly. We can go schooling or something in the future. We can play Astalor next turn. Um, we still have Reno to respond to a big board from him. Cold Storage is a card that we still have, which is fantastic. Wait a minute. Yeah, I was going to say that. Does he deal... Damage to the 8-8? I would assume he does. You're just drawing cards. He only draws one? Interesting. So probably summon two 5-4s with a rush would be my assumption. I don't want to cold storage the Titan. I don't think that it's very good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the Titan's fantastic, but I just don't think that it is um that good. What are you... uh? Oh, that's gross, dude. That's so gross. That is disgusting. Oh, okay. Now maybe I do play Reno on this board. I feel like there's a better board that I can use this on. Like, honestly, I could just go Lightning Storm and, like, Glug here. No, Lightning Storm plus, like, Schooling to kill this off. And then we could play Sir Finley. But then we'd lose Reno, which is a problem. I guess it maybe is just worth it to play Reno. And then maybe just the Astral Knowledge. I really don't want to do this. I feel like there's significantly better cards that I can poof away, but I think it's still worth. I don't really need the armor, so let's just draw some cards. Horn of the Wind Lord, that's fine. Maybe we can play that next turn or something. It's no big deal. I didn't love that play. I'm going to be honest. kind of hated it. But after we play Astalor, I'm pretty okay playing Sir Finley, because other than Cold Storage, there's really nothing I want. And if I can find other cards, that would be very beneficial. Yeah, okay. Fine, whatever. Astalor probably kills this off. I am sad losing Flint, I will admit. So 
Sir Finley doesn't put any duplicates into my deck, right? All these are singles. I haven't randomly generated anything. I'll just play Sir Finley. There's no counterplay when it comes to Bran. Warrior can do 112 damage with Astaloy because of Bran. Well, yeah, but you have to consider the fact that in order to play Bran, it is a turn six do nothing, right? Like at the end of the day, it's really, really bad for you <laughs> most of the time. Well, not most of the time, but unless you're into very certain matchups, like a high value priest, for example, it's not that good. Like if you're playing against an aggressive deck or a combo rogue or something, or ramp druid that gets to 10 mana when you're at six and they're literally about to win the game already. If you play Bran on six into certain matchups, you just lose. It's very good in other matchups in like the mirror match, but I think people overreact to how good it is. Because they're like, oh, this card's broken, blah, 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 blah. But they don't actually like think about how it's balanced also. One, two, and then two more mana to play, I guess. I can't target this with the hero power, to be to be uh, totally honest, so. Boom. Obviously, we have to play the Framester to mess him up as much as possible. And then I think I'm just gonna go the Ambitious Elixir after hitting this. I can heal up as well. Because I have 35 HP, might as well. It's uh, maybe better than this. Because this is just gonna die. I don't think this is bad. No, let's do that. I'll, I'll do that instead. We'll, we'll get something new. I like this. Extra excavate's always nice. And there's no reason to hit that with my minion right now. New Highlander card. Is it strong? It just summons an elemental. I'm going to be honest. I'm very under... Ooh. They got rid of the framed cards. So their Highlander is still intact. Not great. Do they have Restaurant Viper 2? Oh! Interesting. Okay, I'm fine with that, to be honest. I don't really mind. Uh, but I think it's pretty weak. Like, you'll see in just a moment how weak it really is sometimes. <laughs> but, like, it just doesn't feel like it does that. It just doesn't feel like it does that much, to be honest. I really wish it did more. But the fact that it's a 7 mana 5 6 that gives you pretty. Excuse me, mediocre rewards. Like, let's look at what we get offered. Maybe we get something good, but usually at least two of the options are bad. In this case, three of the options were actively bad. Like, it just doesn't make sense. The other ones go into my hand, though, which is kind of cool. I can play an Amalgam to get another Elemental. And then I can play the Scroll, I guess. What does it say? Played an Elemental last turn. Yeah, I guess I'll play an Elemental. Uh, sure. The rush could be useful. I don't really want any of the other things. This will shuffle something into my deck. I like Primordial Wave, actually. No, that could be sick. I'm okay with that. Then again, Scalding Geyser to just get it into my hand immediately is also pretty good. I'll take Scalding Geyser. We'll get a 2-2 Taunt. We are taking damage here. Uh, we might as well hit with those. Technically, I guess I could have hit with one less because it still dies to the 2-2 there, but I was just emptying out space in my hand, to be honest. How many times have I excavated? I've only excavated once, so I guess what I could do is I can go, like, boom, excavate, and then transform whatever they get. Also, Scalding Geyser with the Rolling Stone thing is pretty good. Oh, that's fair. No, that makes sense. I was really hoping they'd summon more stuff. I don't think they have a good minion in their hand. If they did, they would have played it already. This is just rough, buddy. Isn't a Primordial better as you have a bigger and better frog? Oh, um, yeah, Oh. Well, now we definitely do transform the elementals, for sure, 100%. Unfortunately, I don't have cold storage that's at the bottom of my deck, but it's no biggie. Are you serious? That's what you got? Meanwhile, like, this card can do nuts, go nuts sometimes, but a lot of the times it's just ass. Oh. Sure, it's not really that big of a deal. 
Boom. And now you're active, which is great. And then I guess we get to play you. This is uh, kind of perfect, actually. And then that goes face to get a 3-3. Wait, are you an elemental? Thank God it's an elemental. The chomper's still active. Oh, that's so sick. Okay, that was kind of the best situation there. So we've excavated twice. They've excavated three times. Everything will be fine, though. It's fine. We have Restaurant Viper if he plays Holiday. He's already played Reno. Okay, that's not good. That was an insane combo. That was truly nuts, and I'm very happy that I got that. <laughs> if not, I would have just killed off, like, one with Scalding Geyser, and it would not have been that good in the end. Okay, they get two cards. Okay, that's good, but it's not, like, insane. That's useless. Wait, why did nothing happen with Jam Session? Oh, because he can't target this because it was literally untargetable. Oh, that's kind of funny, actually. Oh, that's hilarious. That's perfect. Um, boom. The gem. We don't even necessarily need to play the gem right now. Then again, Jive Insect. Jive Insect to do eight damage could just be nuts. Jive Insect seems pretty fun. It could be some surprising direct damage later on. Uh, deal two damage, obviously. And then... I don't think I want to play Jive Insect, because they could have removal. I feel like Jive Insect is something I want to do later on, but then again... Nah, we'll do that. They've already played Reno, like I said, so it, it doesn't really matter that much. They've already played Reno, so we're in a good spot. Igor's live hype. Like the video all? True like the video. Much appreciated. Tumbleweed? Wait. But... But two things don't even die here. Technically. Okay. Two things don't die here. I mean, we'll see what happens, but I'm hoping that he lives. No way you kill him, please, man. Stop, 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 stop. Let Raggy Boy live. Hmm. That's suboptimal. What could he play for zero? What the hell? No shot, you got this, man. What? This guy's truly nuts. <laughs> um. Technically, I think hitting this would have been better. I don't think it matters, though. Put this to the top. This becomes a three to hit this. I forge this so I can heal next turn. And then I'll also just discover a spell from my deck, because why not? Cold storage seems pretty good if they play something. We can we can heal up off of this next turn. We get a 5-5, five, five, which is nice. They can't play Astalor yet. They have to play the 5 drop first, which I can maybe even cold storage and gain armor with. Which is quite solid. RNG blessed him. I mean, I've been blessed with RNG a little bit as well when I got the 1-2 uh, the elemental, so it's okay, I guess. It's no biggie. It happens to the best of us. You're targeting the 5-5. Five five. Interesting. That means he doesn't really feel like he has that much removal. You give it attack? That's nuts. That's... Oh! <laughs> no way. What was the last card? Okay, he gave something plus three plus three, but that doesn't matter. You gave it divine shield and a de... Dude. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd concede. Talk about RNG right there. Holy... Whoa, one man of vast wisdom is pretty good. That's just pure value. That's so awesome though. <laughs> is that, is this permanent by the way? The cleave thing? Or is it till the end of the turn? No, it just gives the minion that ability. That's crazy. Okay, summon yourself a minion. Holiday comes down. I destroy the weapon immediately with Rust Viper. You take 10 damage, what are you doing? 
You're just dead. You have to be. Oh my gosh, you are not dead. That's incredible. That's incredible that you're still alive right now. I'm gonna do this to see if I find lethal because I think that there's a world where I can get it. Right now I have six. No, that is just lethal, right? We do this first. Then this gets to eight damage and then we just hit here and then we go face. We didn't even need to do this, but we'll do it anyway. Cool. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, he pumped it up. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. We'll take the win though, easiest game of my life. Uh, I'll take draw. ETC could also be interesting depending on what they're going. Maybe I could try to take, um, and get Theotar and then I could try to coin it out and steal Brand from him. Sir Finley could also be interesting. It's not particularly good, but I'll take it. Ah, I see you've brought guests. I'm assuming it's Highlander. It would be my guess, which means I do want to coin out the Atar on turn um, five. I don't even know if I want to play this. I actually don't know if I want to play this. So this gets me to eight cards, then I go to nine cards, then I play this, I'm at 10 cards, and then I'll overdraw. So I actually don't think I play that, because I'll overdraw. The Murloc should also devolve the enemy's board. I mean, I agree. I think the Murloc needs to do something a little bit more. The payoff is significantly worse than a lot of other ones. Like, it's what, um... It's just, it's worse than what it should... Like, I don't know exactly how you would do it, but it needs to be, like, the Scorpion one, where it increases the cost or something, or reduces the cost. I don't know exactly how they would do it. Um, based on how many times you've excavated. Because the way that it is now is just atrociously weak. Because it ruins all of the, um, it ruins all of the synergy that you build in a deck. So like, as soon as you play it one time, all of your other excavates are also just gone if you are going an excavate deck. Like it just, it's it's honestly more of a downside than an upside. Like random minions are good, but they're not usually that good. I do still want to point out the Atar. Hit face is fine, doesn't matter. I don't know what I want to give him. I mean, I'm I guess down to give him like a hex because it's good, but it's not insane. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens, because I'm pretty happy with all of my cards here. Sir Finley would also probably be okay. Because if I play Brand, Sir Finley's useless anyway. Pick me, pick me. Roaring applause to draw three cards. Which makes Theotar significantly worse. This is not good. But I mean, if we snipe Brand, that's pretty good. I feel like I'm okay to tank one more turn worth of damage. <laughs> Take Brand, thank you very much, and we'll give him sadly Rust Drop Vi- Oh. All right. So, Holiday is not gonna be useful anymore. <laughs> uh, Sir Finley's useless, but we sniped Brand. We're still pretty far behind though is the problem. Like, I don't know if I'm actually able to play Bran. I'm just gonna take so much damage. Like, it was a good play. I just didn't have any tempo, which is insane because I have so many two drops. Like, if I had been able to play a minion at any point, I think I would have won this game. If I had gotten a single, like, good card after Shock, I did play coin, this should be two mana. And then I'll kill that off. I'll play Bran eventually, I guess. Unfortunately, I couldn't double activate that. I might just play Glug turn seven. I mean, it depends. But I think my opening hand was bad and keeping the draw card was also stupid considering the fact that I like, I knew kind of what was gonna be there. I guess I could play Bran, and then I could play Sir Finley. 
And you might be wondering why I would do that. And the answer... But the answer would be to see what's at the bottom of my deck, but god damn it, dude. I'm just not able to play Baran ever. At least they can't play it though, which is definitely a plus. Like, it's not bad. Alright, chill vibes is fine. I need to spend three mana. I don't really want to hex anything. Thank you for the five gifted, Grim. Thank you, thank you, thank you, much appreciated. Give him a bonus keyword. A bonus keyword would be pretty sick. How much damage is this? Seven, nine. I do now have healing, so I guess this is fine to just play Bran. I don't think I die here. I think a likely thing that happens also is he just plays Odin. And then I can play Astalor plus chill vibes, gain five armor, heal up, get a couple more Astalors. It's not great, but it'll do. Okay, that's definitely not even Odin. So, could be worse. Sure. Okay. Not ideal, but it could be worse. Holy fucking balls, dude. That was such a good top deck. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, they could still play Odin, but I don't think I really care. It doesn't matter. We, we got we got Reno. Oh my gosh. So we need to play a lot of cards. Yeah, I don't think I keep this card in my opening hand a lot of the time, because I, I, I have a lot of like mid-rangey cards and there are more two drops I want for tempo. If this card right here had been like even Flint or the partner or a 1-1 or a Nimbus or a, the totem just to put something else on the board, I think it would have been really good. Unfortunately, that's not the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Magic betrays those who Whoa, it. what did I play last? The scroll? You don't get to decide what it is though, to be fair. Plating to excavate, it's fine. I get two Astalors off of that, which is not bad. And then I'm gonna play this. It goes back and then forth, so I'm able to play this and heal eight. But I wanna see what's at the bottom of my deck first. Just because, you know? Just, just real quick. So obviously Sung and Scroll, so that's useless. As of right now, that's useless. That's not that good. That's not that good. That's not that good. Okay. Holiday does kind of suck to be at the bottom, but it doesn't matter too much to me. Two Astalors is definitely something though. We've got the Titan if necessary, the Chill Vibes to heal up eight and get a three threes, also not bad. And we emptied out our hand space a little bit, which is good. No, I, I like that, I like that, I like that a lot actually. But unfortunately we don't get four Astalors. They're just gonna concede, thank goodness. Okay, good. Woo! Not bad.